wrestling fans, it's time to feel the eruption. We are in the home stretch to see the future of Emerge Wrestling with the two-night 16 competitor state of emergency tournament. Control Subscribe now eight, so you don't miss the most exciting tournament this year. But, as we are over a month away from the premiere of the first episode, we still have plenty of action to get to, including a special Emerge Championship episode on the next installment of Eruption. However, before we get too ahead of ourselves, we have an incredible program tonight, including your main event of the evening. The team of Jordan Cage and Roger Malcolm are in for a surprise as they go up against Chet Ripley and a partner of his choosing. Also on the card this evening, we'll be seeing a legacy match from the fall of 2018 when State of Emergency competitor Calvin Tankman goes one-on-one -on -one against Mance Warner. But before we can get to that, we're starting this program off with singles competition as the Sweet Tooth Superstar takes on the debuting Eric Dillinger. Percy, coming off a victory against the bratty Dylan Cole, will have to be laser focused. Not only is Cole himself ringside and on commentary, but Davis will have to go through Dillinger, an incredibly dangerous talent with an Indiana-sized chip on his shoulder. Find out what happens on this installment of Eruption next. A quality used vehicle is just a short trip away. Greenlight Auto at 770 Jonesville Road in Columbus. Greenlight Auto is locally owned and operated, a Carfax certified dealer, and a member of the Better Business Bureau. All Greenlight Auto vehicles are inspected with service contracts and gap insurance available. Greenlight Auto also offers professional tinting on any vehicle, whether you buy it from us or not. And if you refer a friend who purchases a vehicle, you get $100. Check out Greenlight Auto's inventory online at greenlightapproval.com. Columbus Bar in downtown is your home for daily $3.50 powerhouse beers and great food. Located at 322 4th Street, the CB is one of Indiana's oldest continually operating restaurants and bars and Columbus, Indiana's first brewery since the Civil War. Powerhouse Brewing Company champions its friendly service and great prices. Call 812-375-8800. Check them out online at thecb.powerhousebrewingco.com. And of course, this crowd cannot get enough of the Sweet Tooth Superstar, Percy Davis. And of course, card is subject to change. And that might be to Percy's detriment here tonight. We'll have to see, as he was expecting a whole other opponent. It gets Eric Dillinger. And that's probably the most right thing you said all night is just how good Eric Dillinger is doing. One of the most underrated and underappreciated talents this guy go in right the back. world. Nine years ago, he and I trained together. This is my brother right here. It's true. I was going to bring him a sucker and uh. I lost it. Can somebody throw me a sucker, please? He just needs one. He gets the assist. Can't even catch you, loser. It was kind of a bad throw. This is for you, my friend. For not oh. That is, at least it's a good flavor. That is so sweet from two folks who have trained together all the way back in 2013. They are both School of Rock alums, and surprisingly, they have never faced each other in the ring. They're doing it here tonight. 
and a heated lockup between these two, but that's what you expect out of two competitors like Percy, like Eric, who have gone through training together, who have basically grown up in the wrestling business together. Because that's what it's about. It's all about competition here at Emerge. Oh, oh, oh. It's about competition, and Percy takes this as a joke. And Doja's gonna make an example out of him. He doesn't take it as a joke. That's just his personality. Like your personality is, I'm not even gonna say it. As Eric Dillinger, look at that, wow. flies over the t the top with some huge feet. Oh, thing of beauty. And I am glad that I am in a recliner right now because Eric Dillinger has some long limbs to him, and that's a big part of his offense too, is being able to utilize those appendages. Percy's already done. He's already done. He's just taking a breather. You know how many breathers I've seen you take during matches? Oh, so it's, it's okay when he does it, but when I do it, it's wrong. You are absolutely right. Because look, Percy wants to come back in. He wants to have this match. When Justin Kyle and you wrestled, I think you went to the back about 18 times. I don't know, something like that. What's that to hear you, man? Because I muted your mic. I, I, and if you, met, if you missed it after that match, we were all having a retirement party. Of course, Mr. Kyle wasn't there. Why wasn't I invited? Uh. Oh! Hey. And gives him just the cheekiest little smack. Of course the pun is intended. Drop down. Eric comes back up. Huge boot delivered by Percy. Oh, come on. That's a legal. This is not illegal. Oh. Huge splashes everywhere from Percy. Wow. Percy's saying, get out of my way. Is he who is he talking to? He is talking to our lovely assistants here at the table. He, he stole their seat so he could sit here. Because <laughs> I guess you invited him. Oh! oh! I like that. I like that. Oh my goodness, and Dillinger just smacking the taste out of Percy's mouth. And for a second, I thought he was doing oh. Dylan. That was a cheap shot. Percy returning the favor. And all of that friendly competition, oh, all of that brotherly love, I think, has gone Man. to the wayside. I'd say so. Those were slaps to the face. They were that in the town over from Dillinger and from Davis. As we mentioned, oh. there was, there is nine years of history between these two. Just because they trained together doesn't mean that's all they've done in the past nine years. Oh. What a loser! What'd you say? I called you a loser, person. I called you a loser, you heard yeah, me Easy, right. easy. Stay away from our commentary yeah. team. Oh. Hey, oh. Hey, hey. You got that to focus on. Oh. Hey, and but Percy distracted by our baby boy here. I am not a hey. baby boy. Distracted. This is an invited guest here. Easy. He's distinguished guest to you. Yes, he call? is. Absolutely. No name calling. I'm surprised that you're not out here mad that we have to switch this match up, and it's Eric Dillinger and not you in there. As uh, much I complaining would, as you were doing that you're out of the car. Mad. But if there's one person that deserves opportunity at the same <laughs> level that I do, it's Eric Dillon. Fair point. Yeah, Absolutely. what do you got for that, Jack Gates? I've already wrestled Percy Davis. I don't want to touch that gross man again. Dillinger can have a turn. Dillinger can have a turn, and he almost has a victory there, but Percy able it's to get out that one. What, now, what do you have against him? That was Shouldn't you have some mutual respect? That's how you got your start. And I could tell you that was a three count. Would have been, would have been a three if Dylan was counting. And a house of fire ball, man. Beautiful. I guess wow. if that head of hair is there, two. Dillinger getting a little frustrated here. I think those slaps uh, that they exchanged really broke something up inside. This is a guy who oh, is a technical, that. but he is a fighter. He is a brawler. You can see the marks on his back. That guy has been through hell and back in the name of professional wrestling. Oh, so disrespectful. Disrespectful. Oh, 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 do it again. Do it again. 
Are you coaching him now? I don't want that. Let's let him motivate. Oh, I like that. I don't know if you're the right guy that Dillinger needs to be coached by. I'm not coaching. I'm supporting. 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 If it weren't the first time, do it again. Well, Dillinger supported by the top rope there, but Percy able to capture him with the choke slam. No, brings him down. That's on the throat. It's illegal. It's funny that you suddenly know what is legal and what is not legal. Like I said, I was a referee for three yeah, years. Yeah, I was not. Yeah, sport. someone here at the table has studied that profession, John. Oh. It's not me. Using the ropes as leverage to get just that much more boost to him. Wrapped around and smacked in the face. Saito suplex from Percy. Wow, what an offensive combination from Percy. And you gotta think, I mean, of course they know each other so incredibly well. Training to him. What is what is Dylan doing? Hi. No. Oh. You cannot do that. That is a disqualification. Oh! Whoa! Gets a huge kick! Percy down! Down to a million! No! Count to a million? Three wasn't even enough as Percy able to kick out. Dillinger looking for a kill shot here, going up to the top. The yes. most beautiful fog splash of professional wrestling. Putting them away right here. Calling his target out. Let's count gets it up there. Oh, Percy gets the knees up and the roll up. Two, no. three. And in an incredible matchup, Percy Davis able to steal one from Dylan. And whoa. Oh, Dylan's Why on earth. Oh, no wonder, no wonder that he was in such support of Dillinger. These two are in cahoots. Oh, that's Deontay. And there's Deontay. Deontay. Oh. And do you hear the eruption from Columbus, Indiana, as Deontay runs in to make the save? The disrespect to Dylan Cole. Come on. What do you mean? I'm not even, I had to sit next to that twerk for a whole map. I'm just going to let positivity radiate over me. Because look at these two. Eyeing each other up. Oh. The crowd wants the hands to shake. Frankly, I want that sign of respect shown between these two. Look at them. Those have got to be the two most groovy men in all of wrestling. And honestly, what a force they could be here. The Cozy Lounge hosts a comfortable and relaxed atmosphere to enjoy great food and drinks. Our six pool tables, a cornhole area, and several TVs will keep you entertained. Quench your thirst with daily drink specials along with $1 drafts on Thursdays. Enjoy our $5 lunch specials Monday through Friday. That's The Cozy Lounge located at 3870 25th Street in Columbus. To protect what's important to you, consider State Farm Insurance Agent Alicia Roberts for your insurance needs. Alicia and her staff do things differently because they want to know what's important to you. Providing insurance solutions for whatever happens now and next. Stop in at our office at 3193 North National Road in Columbus or visit agentalicia4u.com. That's agentalicia, the number four, the letter U, dot com. Our legacy match for this installment of Eruption will be an amazing look back on two competitors before they were superstars. When Calvin Tankman 
goes one-on-one -on -one with Mance Warner. Mancer, coming off of a tag team championship reign as one half of Guns and Aggression, was looking to establish himself as next up in the Emerge hierarchy. But he had a man standing in his way who would not be denied. Even if they were good friends coming up in the scene together, they were both even better competitors. This manifests in one of the most tense electric matches Emerge has ever seen. Before Mancer takes over the independent landscape across the country, and before Calvin Tankman looks to sweep the state of emergency tournament, one man must win this match. Who comes out on top? Singles competition next. They're expecting something from Calvin Tankman that they are not going to get. intensity right from the bell. They've but been up and down the, the roads with each other. They know each other very well. Take them, so let's see what you got. And he just took it. With a smile. Mancer down to one knee. Men trading blows. <laughs> Man's all the way to the outside. I would say, you know, there's nothing in those eyes. But uh, there wait, hold on. Oh, okay. All right, fine. Oh, we hit him. Those are our chairs. I guess I do not love him. Two men, one chair. I will, uh... Took your house chairs. I'll kneel. You know, this isn't that. the first time I've had to do this because my chair got taken. Very, very true. And usually when people bring chairs into the ring, it's to use them as a weapon. I don't even know how to describe what's going on right now. This is a game of one-upmanship I've never seen before in Emerge. Oh, man. Two are battling. I don't know if headbutting oh. Mance Warner Wait, is Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. We're using our chairs. You're all chairs. Oh, man. And oh. what is happening? I mean, it, nobody can be disqualified because it, it wasn't hitting anybody, but... Listen to those chops there from old Mancer. Oh, man. Referee trying to get the chairs out of the ring. And I haven't been to able to do it. I would love to have that chair back. Tankman with the momentum That's right up. here. Oh! That's a lot of man coming at one time. Yeah, you almost just had to tell me what you wanted for Christmas. Oh boy, oh boy. You get nervous. Oh no. Oh wait, 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 wait. Eye poke, oh, oh he blocked it. Oh! Blocked the eye poke. Popped him in the jaw. Uh -oh. Oh. 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 In case we were wondering what it sounds like up close, folks. Oh, oh. <laughs> overhand on the second one. Goodness. Oh. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh, I can feel the sweat coming off Tankman. And there's no bracing up against that post. Uh-oh. This, this is a dangerous place to be right he's now. He's going with it again. Oh, Matt's move! Oh. oh, you could hear the thud. Ooh. I wouldn't be surprised if he just broke his hand. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, oh, wait no. he's going. 
no, oh, no, no, no. no. Uh oh, -uh, watch out. Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh. oh my goodness. Man. A small of Mance Warner's back just drilled the corner. The large of his back, too. <laughs> yes. I mean. I would say that made me jump out of my seat, but I don't have one. Just go grab the chair. Tankman now bringing Mance back in. Man. Oh. Going for the cocky pin there. Didn't get it. I wouldn't have been surprised if he did after that. Power bomb into the into the post. Uh-oh. Oh. They keep getting louder. Uh oh, there's there's somebody's chair. I'm taking this chair. <laughs> European uppercut there from the big man. Now, off into the ropes, and we're about to see it. Oh, oh no, he got caught. Took just a little bit too long on that. Man, it's up to the second rope. Oh, my God. Slapped straight to the face. Mancer's reeling. Right to the jaw. Oh, Mancer. Oh, no. Both men going up top. Uh oh Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Going for a superplex here. Oh. Oh, oh, my goodness. Wow. oh. We just got that ring back. Oh, Mancer's feet almost hit that emerged poker chip hanging up. We there. just got it back from the shop. Yes, Come on. Yeah, that, that is our. That's it. Wait, what? what? Wow. And, and Calvin Tankman is right. He's he's arguing. There's no way. Man's trying to get himself back to his feet. And, and what does Calvin Tankman have to do to put away Mance Warner? I think he's just toying with Mance Warner right now. I think he's just trying to see what he can do with Mance Warner right now. Could be. Crowd wants one more. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, he meant one more of those. I, I, Not another. I thought he meant one more strike. No. Not again. Oh, this ring might collapse on us right here. We're going to need a bigger ladder. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh wait, Tankman's reeling. Tankman's reeling. Man's trying to push him off. Or is he? What's he doing? Choke slam. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh. Brought him all the way down serious? with a choke slam. Almost a choke slam. That's it. There from Manser. No. What? Are you kidding me? He hurt himself in that too. It was so intense right there. Mance back up to his feet. Uh-oh, knee pad up, knee pad down. It's time for that knee strike. Oh, wait. Tankman moved out of the oh. way. Ducked under the eye poke, not able to get the DDT. What's he got? Stalling oh my! Suplex. Wow. When oh will my. he decide to bring him over? Oh wait, oh. Mance was able to get out of it. I think Tankman lost his grip for just a second, poked him in the eye. Mance has very potent eye pokes. Got caught with a thrust kick straight to the gut. Now Mance back, knee strike. Mm. That's it. Oh, his shoulders aren't down. One, two, Oh, now, beautiful crossface. Beautiful crossface applied there by Mance Warner. And did you see how quickly he snapped into that? He realizes the threat that Calvin Tankman poses. 
Wow, I mean, one way to take down Calvin Takeman, I guess, is with the cross face. So that can old Mancer hold on. But he's getting back up. Wait up. Oh my God, picking up Mancer. Back down with a Samoan drop. And Tankman is not a normal sized man. I'll say that. He's built like a tank. That'll be it. Two and three. No. Mr. Science over there with the anatomy update. Calvin isn't a normal sized man. I mean, thank you, Captain Obvious. I'm not Captain Obvious. I'm Bill Nye. Oh, my oh, bad. Wait. Ripcord there trying to get him with the lariat. Doesn't. Oh. Ducks under the eye poke again, but gets caught. Headbutt there from the, uh, the enlarged cranium, cranium of Mance Warner. Oh, he got him with the eye poke. He got him with the eye poke. It's over. Poke to the eye. One, two, three. Mance Warner set it to the pay window. Wow. No. Did you see the power with which Tankman kicked out? Thought that eye poke was going to seal the deal right there. I thought so, too. I see what you did there. Oh. Right now, going for the lariat. Tankman goes under, ripcord, roll him oh. down. Right there, one, two, no. Ah, that was three. More than one, indeed. Less than three, indeed. Two, I can't believe it. I'm torn between whether I want this match to stop or not, with just how brutal Wait it is. Wait a second. Wait a second. Are we going to see it, Casey? Tankman's going up top. Oh, boy. A man this size usually doesn't go up there. Uh-oh. Oh, oh he, missed. he missed with a big splash. Man. And fortunately for Mance, having the wherewithal to just move out of the way. Barely. I mean, he barely made it out of the way. Are we? Massive take. Yeah, we would have been scraping him off of the mat. <laughs> go. Mance Warner going for the lariat. Time to collect a light beer and head to the pay window. Wait, Tankman ducked it, <laughs> but Manser got him from behind. Back into the corner, Manser goes, knee strike. And this is the moment Manser needs. Tankman's going down. Got him oh. the second knee strike. That's it. Say good night. Wait. One, two. What? How does Tankman keep kicking out? I need to redo my calculations. You got an F on that report, John. It's not the first time. Irish whip. Tankman isn't moving. Oh, Back man. into the corner. Narrowly avoids the referee. Oh, Tankman, no. Tankman oh. narrowly avoids the referee as well. Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> oh! It just made a man. Oh, oh my gosh! Tankman! Tankman suplex brought him down! Three! Oh my! And it is over! Wow. Chair bounced off the skull of Man's Warner. And courtesy of Calvin Tankman. Greetings from Naptown! Trust Positive Performance for your auto repair and maintenance needs. Located at 364 South Mapleton Street in Columbus, we work on all makes and models. Anything from basic maintenance to major repairs, the only thing we don't do are alignments. 
Positive Performance has proudly served the Columbus area since 2011. That's PositivePerformance1.com, 812-372-1233. That's PositivePerformance1.com. Do you miss your younger days whenever you felt more active? Do you have poor concentration, low self-esteem? Do you have ED? If you have any of these symptoms, you need to contact us at TestRxMD. These are life-changing events. So the process for TestRx, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to sign up on our website, testrxmd.com. After all that is filled out, we're gonna reach out to you to schedule you an appointment to see what time works best for you. Then once you come in, you're gonna meet with the physician. She's gonna do a blood test on you. And if your levels are low, she's actually gonna prescribe testosterone to you. It's gonna ship directly from the pharmacy to your house. Now, once you do get on our website, you're gonna notice we also offer treatment for ED, weight loss, and we also offer peptides for your benefit. We also offer virtual visits with the physician if you can't make it into the doctor's office. Come see us at TestRxMD to discover the new you. showcasing exactly what that tournament is all about. The Emerge Championship. We'll be opening up the archives of Emerge history and showcasing four of the best championship matches. On the docket is Justin Koch versus Jake Chris, Chris Caliber versus Scotty Young. Triple threat action between J.D. Mariani, Gregory Iron, and Jeremy Hadley. And lastly, but certainly not least, Jordan Cage's championship defense against the man Rhino. Subscribe now so you don't miss this incredible program. The consequences of Jordan Cage's actions continue to cause problems for him as we see in your main event for this episode of Eruption. The lengthy and lucrative history between Cage and Morty's Millionaire's counterpart, Roger Malcolm, looks to serve as the basis for this incredibly dangerous duo. After screwing Paragon out of the championship he never lost, an embarrassing Chet Ripley, it looks like nobody is capable of stopping. But their attempts at breaking the unbreakable Chet Ripley have been in vain, as Chet is looking for any way to get his revenge. Jordan decided to lay out the challenge, the last one. If anyone was willing to team up with Chet, he'd give Chet that one last opportunity at that redemption. With the honor of his mother and his own dignity on the line, will Chet scouting lead him to victory? It's important to note as well, Chet isn't the only one facing pressure. With his own status to uphold as outbreak champion, and even more importantly, his first round matchup in the upcoming State of Emergency Tournament, Jordan feels the fire too. 
Is Jordan Cage's team able to get the victory and keep that momentum going for him to have the opportunity to regain the Emerge Championship? Or will Chet finally get that sweet victory he and his mother have been waiting months for? Your main event coming up next. positive attitude from Miles that they bring to the ring and that they're going to bring to this match here. See, Chet can have friends. Chet yeah. doesn't need Jordan Cage. Yeah, Chet, Chet may not need Jordan Cage, but he's going to have to get through Jordan Cage for that outbreak championship opportunity, isn't it? And what a pairing of unbreakable Chet Ripley and Don't Die Miles. Chet was able to find somebody just as crazy as him. You're absolutely right. What a pairing these two. And as announced this just this week on Rundown. He'll do it, too. He will do it. And he will go to prison for assault, Lurch. No. No, no. He's warning them. <laughs> and Jordan. Jordan walking out. Well, he said if they started the chant, Fulfilling his here. promise. Half the people in here started saying it. Now that Jordan has gotten what he's wanted, he's gotten a victory over Chet, he has that outbreak championship. He feels like he doesn't owe Chet anything, let alone a uh, match. Don't listen to this crowd, Jordan. Don't just tune them out. Jordan never won to make himself familiar with this crowd. But there was a point in time where Columbus was chanting his name, where they were willing him on in every single match. That, Lurch, that feels like a lifetime ago. Maybe to you, but as we know, what goes around comes around, and here we are. Look at these, look at these two teams stepping across the ring from each other. And I mean, this is, this is a spread of stalemate as far as this game with paper, rock, scissors goes. All right. Don't die, Miles going to start and it off. We have a match here. Miles starting this match off with Jordan Cage. We have seen Miles here at Emerge. What does what? Oh. Is he trying to rub it into chat? Uh, uh, what was that about? And frankly, what is that partnership even to begin with? Of course, Jordan and Malcolm have that history in Morty's Millionaires. What are their goals now? What are they planning on accomplishing now together? Jordan able to get a headlock into Miles with a huge shoulder tackle 
Miles really feeling it here early on in this matchup. And this crowd is electric here tonight. I will say Jordan does That's make easy. it look incredibly easy always, in the Always, always. He's perfect and with perfection that force. That's a natural tendency to make everything look easy. I understand. I understand the problem myself. Over two decades of experience in the ring. Triple crown champion Jordan Cage makes it look easy, but we know it's not when he's going up against someone like Don't Die Miles and Chet Ripley. The energy that Del Don Miles has brought to this match, the announcement, the excitement. But wow, Jordan Cage is saying not enough. And that's what they're all about. Miles brings the energy, brings the high flying. Oh, wow. Hoping to bring a victory home tonight. Up and over, into the ropes, catches Miles. Into a suplex. A I mean, just the suplex. strength, the accuracy from Jordan Cage. Well, Miles able to kick out. Off into the ropes as Miles ducks the clothesline. Gets Whoa. up. Huge Hurricane Rana from Miles. There's that speed, there's that agility. Tosses him over with the arm drag, maintains control. And it looks like Jordan might need to tag out early in this one. And he's gonna do that. First time seeing Roger Malcolm in this matchup here. Roger Malcolm, no stranger to tag team competition, understands the strategy, understands the teamwork aspect, and understands how to wear out. It's kind of what? Of course, a tag team specialist is Malcolm. But Miles, at this point, huge Enzigiri after a couple of elbows. Miles looks to tag in their partner, Chet. But of course, Malcolm is a tag team specialist, a part of Morty's Millionaires, a part of Custom Made. One half of the longest reigning tag team champions in history. So you're right, Lurch. Only a two count. But you're right, Malcolm does know a thing or two about tag team. Quite a bit, quite a bit. Tag team specialist at his oh. purest. Oh, what? Chet biting the forehead of Roger Malcolm. Oh, huge bulldog. Chet knows a little bit about cannibalism. And there's the, what? There's the stare down between Chet and Jordan. Jordan doesn't want any piece of that, but this is all that Chet is looking for. Uh, Jordan and Malcolm with a powwow on the side. Oh, wow. And Chet falls from the sky with the assist from Miles. How did Chet clear the top row? Bouncing off the back of Don't Die Miles. And what a tag team Miles and Chet are, are coming to fruition with. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, and Jordan. Oh, but. Wow, and Jordan can breathe a huge sigh of relief as Malcolm had his back. Choking him in the corner. Referee has to break it up. That could have been a disqualification. Malcolm needs to be careful. Oh! Oh! And a couple of aftershocks after that shot. The Texas, uh-oh. And Chet oh. with the Hurricane Rana bringing him all the way around. Tags in his partner, Miles. Off into the ropes for both of them, bringing Malcolm up and over. Nice little elbow drop from Miles. Took that count almost all the way to three, but just not enough to put away Roger Malcolm. 
couple of huge forearms from Miles. Malcolm reeling on the ropes here. He could go with a little bit of a breather and tagging in his partner. Oh! Massive crossbody from Malcolm. Is it enough to put him away? They're able to kick out right at two, right in the nick of time. Jordan after getting the tag. Oh! A little miscommunication oh. from the two. It's able to get Miles a small opening. Oh. You can see the hesitation. They thought about tagging in Chet. They thought about tagging oh. Malcolm. Went for Jordan Cage and gets a massive exploder suplex into the turnbuckle. Don't die, Miles' his neck just slammed that bottom turnbuckle. And they're definitely used to putting their body on the line. They're used to putting themselves in dangerous situations. I don't see them making it to their feet. Not after that. Not after that. And Chet telling the referee, get Jordan out of that corner. If anybody knows the underhanded tactics that Jordan Cage goes to, it's Chet. Crowd continues to disrespect Jordan Cage. Disrespect? Disrespect, think about what Jordan has done to this crowd. Manipulated them for months. Lurch Aww. and Chet. You know how much they love Chet. Okay, Jordan Case did nothing wrong. He simply accepted an oh. opportunity to compete for the Outbreak Championship. He didn't do anything wrong. Chet simply offered that up to him. I mean, clear as day. Holds on to the arm control and able to get another suplex out of it. Still not enough to put Miles away, but Miles is in a bad way. And, and start addressing Jordan Cage as our most recent Triple Crown champion. Start doing that. Right? I mentioned that. He's. Well, I mean, at every at every mention of Jordan Cage, our Triple Crown. Every crown. mention. Yes. Well, how about you mention this? How about you mention that Miles? By themselves, able to oh, wow. able to get out of the two-on-one disadvantage, but but man, Miles desperately needs to make a tag here. And this crowd desperately begging for that tag to be made, but I don't see it happening. I don't see Jordan Cage allowing it. I don't see. And then look at this, Roger Malcolm oh, definitely not going to allow it. Just as Miles was trying to tag their partner, Malcolm, out of nowhere, dragging him off the apron. Oh, a little short there. Miles realizing they're by themselves in this ring. Ugh. Of course, they've done a lot of study on Jordan. They know Jordan's offense. Wow. Oh, it I guess you don't oh. you can't prep for oh. this though. You can't prep for that. Well, that's Bad it. That net. driver from that Jordan. Net. There's no way. There's no way. And they've been continue. working that neck all There's night. There's no way they're going to go on with this match. There's no way that Miles can't continue here. We've already seen one match with a competitor unable to compete due to injury. Will we see that same fate here tonight for the team of Miles and Chet? And keep in mind, Chet needs this victory. Chet needs that outbreak championship opportunity. But it's not going to come back around to fruition. For well, and Chet has realized that he can't really do anything to Jordan Cage except take what he cares about the most, and that's the prestige that the oh, outbreak championship wow. so there. And Miles just finding an inch there after that. But they need to make a tag and they need to make it quick if they want to win this match. And he, they get it! Chet up to the top! Crossbody to both of them! Chet wants it. He wants that opportunity. Wall. Huge punch from Chet. Using his body as a weapon. Sling blade. 
Not tonight. Not tonight. No way. Oh! Looked like a step up knee from Chet. Oh! The massive leg drop. Could that be it? No! Oh man, I thought that that was it, but still just not enough for Chet to put these, this duo away. Close call right there, close call for sure. Oh. Another leg drop, that's gotta be enough. Oh. Go to the well one too many times, and Chet not able to get the victory here on that one. And there's the duo of Jordan Cage and Roger Malcolm having each other's oh. back. Chet able to get out of the fuzzy eight by 10. Miles looking for something. Oh my goodness! How did he can? How did, how did Miles connect right there with that DDT? A launching DDT. Jordan Cage out on his back. Every competitor in this match really feeling the effects of this one. Who is the first to their feet? We've seen how much that plays into an advantage here in an emerge ring. And who will it be? And it is Malcolm. Listen, Roger Malcolm, Warrior Poet C right there. The Up Miles the with the quick counter. Fireman's carry, go to sleep from Miles. Could it be it, Chet Ripley, is Chet still legal? Massive splash for Chet and Jordan, just in the nick of time, is able to save this match. Oh, and that was gonna be it. What a save by Picture Perfect right there. That was gonna be it, but not gonna happen. Oh. Not in Jordan Cage's ring, not to not at Emerge 69 tonight. Oh! Wow. Oh. Ripcord flatliner from Jordan. Oh, but Chet able to make the save himself. Trying to. Looked like he was shot. gonna give Jordan a taste of his own medicine. Miles down, Chet in the corner. Oh, and there it is. And this is a playbook. Oh. Or that's a play out of Custom Made's that's it, playbook. That is, yeah, that is. And Roger Malcolm experienced with that one. Put it away many opponents. Oh. Wow. Somehow not one Put away player. many of opponents, but not tonight. It is not enough. There is too much, too much in the way for Chet to lose this matchup. And what is he going for? Uh, you cannot crazy. use that. Well, he's just showing Chet what he's fighting for. He's showing him what he may have a chance to win if he can somehow get the three count tonight. <laughs> Unfortunately, not oh, in the no. oh, oh. And Smart Jordan. Always fast on his feet. Oh, Ooh. massive kick from Miles! Miles able to, oh my goodness! Massive springboard cutter from Miles! And what destruction, what chaos is going on in this match? Crushing finale! Two, three! And Lurch, can you believe it? And Chet looking for mom! Chet finally! Oh, and Mom's sitting and there the inside. And the reunion! Just before Mother's Day. Oh, and, and Jordan! Jordan looking to spoil! Wow. Don't time out. Oh, so, party's over, says Jordan Cage. Why? Why do y'all feel the need to do this?
look at Jordan, like a quarterback in there, like a point guard. Calling the play and Malcolm executing. <laughs> Once again. Once again, Jordan Cage using Chet's own mother against him. In case you missed it, Jordan launched Miles into the steel turnbuckle post. So Miles is nowhere to Give him a mic, give the man the mic. The warrior post here must be. Oh, well, somebody no. do something. This is the man's mom. Oh, and Chet. And Chet, no, Chet. Oh. Taking a bullet for his mother. <laughs> what a despicable, despicable performance from Jordan Cage and Roger Malcolm here tonight. Take the, take the loss and move on. He has to move on and his next opponent is right there in the ring, Chet Ripley. He's gotta move on, he's, he's got a sight set on his next challenger already. if Chet won this match, Chet would get another shot at the Outbreak Championship. Jordan Cage trying to make sure that he never gets a shot at anything ever again. Yeah. 